We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk Josh Brolin playing Thanos. Yes. Yes, very excited about that, huh? Josh Brolin, Thanos. He's got the jaw. He's got the jaw. We spoke about this the other day on the live stream that I did with Kat and Joe and Chris from Agree to Disagree, Kat from Comic Uno. And it's the jaw, man. It's all about the jaw. I, look, uh, Josh Brolin's a good actor. I've <laughs> been watching this guy since I was a kid. For those of you who are my age or those of you who ever saw Goonies, yep, he was Mikey's brother, Bren, or Brad, or whatever it was. They always got his name confused in the movie, too. That's kind of funny. But yes, I think that's a good good choice. Um, obviously, I think what we'll see is, uh, you know, the whole motion capture. Obviously, they'll, they'll take his voice, they'll use maybe his the base of his voice or the tone or whatever, and they'll probably, you know, synthesize it to make it sound a little bit different. Uh, it'll be interesting, actually, you know, if they'll maybe use, like, motion capture on his body, but, because he's got, he's got a good face for it, man, I gotta say, I like, I like, I like the pick, I'm pretty excited about that, you know, they've got some, uh, pretty good actors going into the Avengers, um, you know, we got James Spader as, as Ultron, which is awesome, you guys know if you've been with the channel for a while, that video I did a long time ago when he got casted, I was very excited to have James Spader play Ultron, I thought he was a good choice, very good choice, obviously Robert Downey Jr. is still around, uh, we got now Elizabeth Olsen and, of course, um, Aaron Taylor Johnson playing Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. And he's apparently he's going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy, and he's going to be in Age of Ultron. So, Age of Ultron, I should say. So, uh, that's going to be pretty interesting, you know? Pretty interesting to see that Thanos is going to pop up in both movies. I'm, I want to see how big a role he's going to play in which one. I probably I would think a bigger role maybe in Guardians because we know what the Collector has, and we know that's what Thanos wants, so... Should be interesting to see how that plays out. And uh, how he's going to play out in Avengers, not sure yet. Uh, mm, I don't know, but I think Josh Brolin's a great choice. Uh, I loved him in uh, No Country for Old Men. He did really good in that movie. He's been in a lot of great movies. Maybe not so much Jonah Hex. But, uh, you know, but he's an established actor. A lot of people wanted him to play Batman in the Superman movie. Uh, didn't, get, didn't get that. We got uh, Ben Affleck, but... You know, a lot of people know Josh Brolin. They like Josh Brolin. I think he's going to be... I think he's going to do a good job. I think he's going to be a good job. I thought that was a great choice to get him on board as to play Thanos. Especially when you consider the kind of villain Thanos is. You definitely want a good actor in there that can pull it off. You don't want just some fly-by-night guy or somebody who's just not seasoned enough. Josh Brolin is seasoned. I think he can pull it off. I think he did... You know, I'm not a Men in Black fan. I wasn't too crazy about those movies. But boy, that he remind, he was like exactly like Tommy Lee Jones... A younger Tommy Lee Jones in that movie, man. It was almost like Tommy Lee Jones actually aged down. It was crazy. So he's definitely got the talent and the skill set to do this. I think perfectly fine. So very excited about Josh Brolin playing Thanos. I cannot wait to see that. It's gonna give, and it's also gonna give a lot of um, steam, I think, to the movie uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, which is a movie that there's a lot of people excited about. I, I'm looking forward to the movie, but it's still a, a gamble for Marvel. We were talking about this at the live stream last night. Still a gamble of a movie because of the, the characters, very unknown to most people, even myself, I'm not 100% familiar with these characters. Uh, you know, so bringing him into the fold, as well as throwing Thanos in the movie, even if he's not in it completely, should help bring along some more people. So I think it was a very wise choice by Marvel uh, on multiple reasons, you know, in terms of skill set, acting, a uh, seasoned veteran of an actor, and bring a little uh, legitimacy to the Guardians of the Galaxy movie for those who might be questioning it. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it's going to play out. Josh Brolin, uh, Mikey's older brother from Goonies. Some of you might remember that. Or uh, if you watch No Country for Old Men or Men in Black or tons of other movies that he's done, I think, uh, yeah, I think he's going to I think he's gonna be perfectly fine. Definitely, definitely. Anyway, guys, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe.
Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk Josh Brolin playing Thanos. Yes. Yes. Very excited about that, huh? Josh Brolin, Thanos. He's got the jaw. He's got the jaw. We spoke about this the other day on the live stream that I did with K. 